All right, Charlie, thank you so much for coming back on the show. We're still here in the farmer's market. Um, I just want to talk uh, a little bit more specifically about um, your relationship with ACMI. Like, let's say today I'm going to go to ACMI. Why and what's it like when you first walk in the door? Right. It's like a little community hub. You know, basically, um, I, I come in and it's, I see, uh, I feel like it's a family. You know, I, I honestly do. And uh, I come and go. Sometimes I get real busy in my work and I you know, can't come in a lot, but I'm, I'm getting back into it now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's like a family. You see people that you know from the community dropping, dropping by. And, right. Yeah. No, it's, it's something I, I think a lot of people get wrong is that we're like some big television station. We have to make an appointment to walk in. It's like, no, yeah. just show up. We'll just say hi. No, it's like you know. like I was telling you before. I, um, you know, when if there's something I care about, it's the first thing I think about. You know, mm. how do I get it out to the most amount of people and, you know, make it look good, make it have impact? And that is what the people here at ACMI teach you. You know, it's not that they'll do it for you. No, no. No. It's because that would be, you know, like impossible. Right. But, um, you know, I come in maybe once or twice a month, and I bring my stuff. And the cool thing is when I'm there editing, say, you know, I'm offloading some stuff from my camera or whatever, Mm. and I have an issue. Mm. You know, there's Jared Sweet, who is like... The god of video editing, right? You know, basically, sure. Self-taught, yeah. But he'll just come right over. He'll take time. You know, I don't know how people do this switching. It, you know, I guess. Yeah. They get used There's to it. Like <laughs> ten staff members with twenty different jobs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why we're so, here. So you know, like just if I raise my hand and say, "Could somebody help me?" Um, it, there's always somebody who will take the time and be really gracious about it. Um, right on. Yeah, and then the other thing I like. Um, is sometimes I just come in, I do my thing, and then they'll be producing the news on Thursdays, I think. Yeah, Thursdays. Yeah. yeah. And so I go up there, and I, I can learn uh, the audio board. I can learn the video switcher, the teleprompter. These are all things that people probably know about from just hearing how things are produced. But right. they make a very um, you know, professional-looking production. And yeah, we don't have to. But we like to because yes. it's fun. Yeah, because it's fun. And I want to I want to revisit your uh, your podcast a little bit. Yeah. Um, just uh, give me the beginning, middle, and end of uh, how it started, what you're trying to do with it. Right. You know, um, um, is well, anyone helping you out with it? That kind of thing. <laughs> anyone in specific? Or are you just you just doing it yourself? I'm looking for an intern, and I will pay them. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, no, I would love to have an intern. They mm. kind of come and go. Yeah. You know, interns. But um, I actually have three podcasts. Oh, three. Wow, my, my uh, apologies. I That's okay. Oh. No, you wouldn't know. Um, I have one on rowing, which is an extreme passion of mine. So, like, you know how people like are. Like crew, in. like rowing? Yeah, like, wow. rowing a, sh- a boat a shell on the river. So I interview people in the, in the uh, field of rowing. You know, mm. people, people, they're, it's really fun. And it's, it's just because I'm, you know, obsessed with rowing, really. Hmm. So I've done 120 episodes of that. Wow. Um, got two more coming up. In the next two weeks, and then I pull the, um, that's in, on video, and then I pull the audio off for distribution to the podcast apps. Smart. So that's called Ready Row USA. Mm-hmm. And then Face the Book TV is, like I was telling you before, it started at ACMI, mm-hmm. and now I do it at, on this live streaming platform that I use, and then I share the uh, footage, the episode, with ACMI so they can put it on their channels. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate welcome. it. Yeah. But it's, it's kind of easy. I, I mean, for me, I don't have a large production crew. Mm-hmm. So I just do the live stream and I plan it out as well as I can, which is important mm. for it to go smoothly. And then we do about a 30-minute um, uh, live stream and then I pull the audio to distribute. And the other one is on alternative education. Oh, like what? Explain. Well, it's... Um, we have a project that's been going on for 10 years called the Piragaji Project. Piragaji. Hmm. Piragaji. Huh. So that is uh, all about peer learning and peer hmm. production. So 
kind of non-hierarchical learning enterprises mm. and techniques and tools. Mm. So we've done, I think, 20 of those. And, um, and that, that's maybe once every two, three months that we do one of those wow. with, with the people in this project. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a collaborative, it's open, open source, um, public domain. If you want to copy it and use it, and call it your own, you can. <laughs> so it's cool. a kind of that vibe, you know, that mm. open source vibe. So. Groovy. And, you know, you seem incredibly productive, not seem like you are, obviously, <laughs> an incredibly productive person. Um, do you have any advice you'd give to uh, anybody watching that's uh, afraid to get started, yeah. a little intimidated by all the equipment, that kind of thing? What's the challenge? What's the big thing that's not getting people out yeah. the door and into the ACMI to do something they want to do? Um, boy, I think just, you know, Figure out what it is you care about. So there's been people coming by here who, one woman has cared about the flooding in, in, in um, Mill Brook. Mm -hmm. you know, someone else was, you know, involved in social justice issues, immigration and stuff. And uh, if you care about that, just come in and sit down, talk to Jeff or, or, or Jasper. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> or uh, James Malone, you know, just... Almost anybody will sit and, t you know, and they'll kind of onboard you. So they'll get you started maybe uh, as a crew member to be a fly on the wall on another production. Mm. And that's a great way to learn. And then, you know, you just kind of, you do have to take some initiative. Nobody's going to, like, right. you know, say, I'll do it for you. No. But, um, no. <laughs> no, but they try. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean it's just like um, I don't know. You could if you were if you were into bike safety, you know, you could do a program about that. Mm. I've d I've done pieces on the farmers market. I've done a piece for on rowing for the news program at ACMI, and you know a whole bunch of different things. We're involved in the um, you know, the issue of. Raptors being poisoned by rat poison. Yeah. Uh, so owls that died, and so we're we're doing pieces on that for the news, and right. for, you know, there's probably going to be a, a more of a documentary done on that. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of thing, you know, kind of just work your way in and just hang out. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, I think is unless I'm mistaken, I think you can just drop by almost any time. Yeah. And I, any time during the week, and if we're not there. Call the number and someone will show up. I, I live five minutes away, yeah, so I'm always I'm always uh, ready and willing to just come down yeah, and talk to anybody. Yeah, and you know, there's people there. Like, so when I go in to do my editing on Thursday mm. afternoons or whatever, there's someone usually there who's extremely knowledgeable. Another producer, you know, who I can chat with and talk to, and maybe maybe I'll work on their production. Right. And so it's like kind of a collaborative, you know, exchange of skills and knowledge. Yeah. You know, and it just kind of grows organically. No, I mean, like, the Internet, people could say, is a great place for something like that, right? Meeting people and trying to find like-minded people, like, help with, you know, you help with their production, they'll help with your production. Like, I, I make movies, right? Yeah. So, like, that's a big thing. But, like, there, there's something about just a real physical place that you go to where you see someone working on something and you look over their shoulder yeah. and it strikes your eye and you say, wow. And that wouldn't have happened if you didn't just walk in and say hello. Exactly. So it's, it's great that there's a place in almost every town. Sadly, sometimes mm -hmm. not in certain towns. And we are very lucky in Arlington. This is yeah. a state-of-the-art studio. You'll learn equipment. And there's all a range of equipment. So, like, really basic, you know, stuff that people yeah. can use. And, you you know, if you're a member, you can check it out for free. Right. And uh, learn how to use it mm -hmm. for free. And, you know, it's just a great place to um, get some skills like that. Here, here. Well, I think we'll end it there. I think it's a good place to end it. Yeah. Thank you again, Charlotte, for welcome. being on the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are very welcome.